Uh, so hello everyone, Simicraft here, and welcome to uh, Simicraft playing Princess Peach Showtime Live. Uh, you may have seen on my Let's Play channel on YouTube, uh, last week I streamed the demo. But hey, now the game's out, so I figured let's be some of the first people to experience this together. So hello chat. Uh, this stream is occurring on Twitch and YouTube simultaneously, so you can pick whatever your preferred uh, viewing medium is. Uh, uh, if you do want to watch on YouTube, that's on my Let's Play channel, not my main channel, just to be clear. But enough of that nonsense, let's get into the game and let's have some fun tonight. Now, I am planning on playing this. I've got, like, several hours blocked out. We may finish the whole game, we may not, I don't know. I guess it depends a lot on how uh, long the game is. I do have a prior obligation I do need to get to by 8 a.m. today, which is a while from now, so, again, who knows, we might completely have the game beaten by then. I do not know quite how this game works. Uh, I'm hoping everything is good for you, technically speaking, chat. Uh, I streamed a test stream earlier today and had uh, some audio sync issues. I believe I have re gotten that resolved, but if you have any issues whatsoever, don't be afraid to tell me about it so I can address that. But, here we are, starting Princess Peach Showtime, going to this extravagant little place. Wow indeed, Peach. Wow indeed. Granted, I mean, I would think as a monarch you would have a lot of experience seeing fine architecture, but, I mean, maybe it's one of those things where exposure doesn't necessarily dull you to it. We're finally here, Princess Peach! I'll go grab some tickets, it shouldn't take long. In the meantime, you could check out the lobby. I'll let you know once I've got the tickets. Alright, Toad, thank you. Welcome to Sparkle Theater, yay! Look at all these happy-go-lucky guys. New actors have great sparkle. What? Why can't I go down there? Sorry, there's no entry pass to you. Fair enough, you gotta have security. Today, we're here to watch the plays, but it's every Thetes dream to perform someday, too. Alright, I forgot what they were called while I was playing the demo. Let me dedicate that to memory. These are called Thetes. Thetes. I don't really have, like, a mnemonic to memorize that by, but Thetes. Thetes, because I'll crush them with my feet. This theater is a beaut. They're still not open. Hello? The sparkler in this play is so good. Their sparkler, their sparkle is unreal, yes. All right, so Thetes are the species, sparkler is the profession. Keep those two separated in your head. This will be on the test later, so keep track of things, chat. Uh, sparklers are our top stars. <coughs> Sorry. They have that extra pizzazz. They breathe life onto the stage. Indeed, indeed. And honestly, I wouldn't be shocked if there is a stage where it's like, Standardized test taking peach. The sparkle in this play is the best. That's uh Unfortunately no glide in this game. I thought this was a was a peach game. Isn't that mandatory? We'll be ushering you into our new sword fighter play momentarily. Thank you for your patience. Okay. Princess Peach, I've got the tickets! Wonderful, wonderful. I love engaging in commerce. Hello, Toad. Here's your ticket. Did you know just how crowded it is in here? Must mean the shows are great. Hopefully. Just like the shows on YouTube and Twitch. <laughs> Sounds like our play will start soon. We have an announcement for everyone gathered here today. It is now time for... A performance of terrifying proportions featuring yours truly, Grape, and something else. Sorry, my dub is too slow for the game. <laughs> but the Toad now has the crown, which means the Toad is now reigning monarch for the time being. That, that, that's how that works, right? Surely. Surely. Princess Peach Showtime. Oh. What? 
Hello, Matsuj. Sorry, I just fixed the window so I can actually see your chats. Uh, uh, yeah, Toad may have gotten the ticket from a scalper. I wouldn't put it past him. Huh, you, you want to know what's wrong? Well, some strange mass characters are making a complete disaster out of our play. We can't produce the play with them around, and I don't know what to do at this point. Hmm. Oh, that is Determined Peach. Never get in the way of Determined Peach. So you came here to attend some plays, and now you're witnessing this whole mess, huh? Hmm. I'm sorry to hear it. I, I have to sort this out, but I don't think I can do it alone. It'd mean a whole lot if you'd help me. What do you say? Really? You'll help? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! My name's Stella. I'm a sparkle sprite who watches over this theater. And you are... Peach! What a great name! Don't you know who I am? You should... Like, that, that, that. You are in the presence of the monarch of the whole kingdom. Th that should be a bit more... You should be, like, stunned into silence or something. Not just saying, oh, cute name. Anyways, with the power of sparkle on our side, we'll take back the play and the show will go on. Complimenting someone's name is an odd thing, if you really think about it. The mass characters I mentioned were in the sword fighter play. Let's get in there. Like, because... It's... Not, like, a specific trait you have. Or... That's not what I meant to say. What I meant to say is, it's not, not like any of your effort or credit that gave you your given name. Unless, I guess, you picked your own name. But most people, more or less, stick with the name they're given at birth. So, it's not, like, an achievement on your part. It's not really relevant to anything. And it's, like... I'm not even sure if there's... Like, what do you even mean when you say, Oh, that's a nice-sounding name. Like, there's no, like, science behind that or anything, of, like, what objective is a good-sounding name or not. Anyway, so this is a sword fighter's story, and sure enough, it still feels off in here. Huh? Oh, oh no! Someone's been hurt! Oh my! Could the masked ones be responsible for this? Ah, oh, I've got it. Okay, I've got an idea. We should try using the power of Sparkle. Ooh. She's going Super Saiyan. Well, not quite. I know you can change your name, but I assume the probably vast majority of people don't. Well, although I guess if you count women... Changing their last name when they get married. Well, fair enough. <laughs> I, guess, I guess then it probably actually becomes... Maybe not quite a majority, because you have single women exist. And... And, well, but then you do have people who voluntarily just change their name for other reasons. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure what the statistical would be. It actually probably is close to 50-50 then, if you count that. Anyways, now you can use Sparkle through that ribbon, Peach. Come on, use Sparkle to help this, Thiet. Yes. Yep. There you go. Hello, Fairy Slash. Glad to have you here. This is just one of the powers of Sparkle. It can help people and things shine and feel bright. With your help, we can fix everything using the power of Sparkle. Let's go. Indeed, let's go. Looks like this area has gone back to normal. But we'd better check on the castle. Onwards. But first, is there any secrets around here? Any? And probably not, because we did play the demo. And I think we got everything in here in the demo. They attacked us out of nowhere. I feel good as new. But, yep. Yeah. Oh no! We got some combats coming up. I'm scared!
Yeah, that's fair. That's, that's a good assessment of what a pretty name would be. Like something notable, right? I think that could be a good kind of synonym. Pleasant and notable. I knew it, they didn't stand a chance against the sparkle. Indeed, they did not. Hey, you, now listen up. Yeah, hey, you can't be shaking down this guy. I am the government. I have a monopoly on violence. So, quit barging in on my territory. Literally and figuratively. Oh, I was hoping I could jump over the bushes. Oh, and by the way, uh, I know I've already established it previously in the stream, but if you are confused when I'm responding to chats that don't seem to exist, uh, we are currently streaming on both Twitch and YouTube. So if I'm responding to a chat that doesn't exist to you, it's probably on the other platform. Hooray, now we can keep going. As far as I'm aware, I'm not, like, reading things that don't exist. This is- Ah, it's a sparkle gem! Proof of your fantastic efforts. These gems are packed with shining powers, so I'm sure they'll be of use as we continue. You know, stars in the Mario games have always slightly confused me. Like, what, what are they? Are they, like, a rare mineral? Are they actual, like, combusting... Well, I was gonna say balls, but they clearly aren't ball-shaped, but... Like, substances of, like, hydrogen and helium and stuff? Ah, what's with all the thorns? Not to worry, this may be a thorny situation, but Peach is here to save the day. This princess is going to save another castle. Try twirling on the flowers at the beginning. Okay. I'm doing this for you, my lovely chatter. Oh wait, actually I think I'm past the point of no return. If I would, I could, but I can't. Unless, it's not in this area that you're talking about, right? No? Okay. Well, if we have need to replay this stage, I will attempt to do that. We can get up to there, at least. Oh, hey, hey, no chasing people around. We need order here. I'm here to reestablish order in my kingdom. Right, well, let's get this first. And I don't think we've missed anything, because we have the first and second star shine things, whatever they're called. Sparkles? Sparkle, shine, star, I mean, they're so similar <laughs> in terms of lexical utility. It's kind of tough to remember them on the fly. Oh, let's get the coins. I don't actually know what the coins are for in this game, but, I mean, usually they're useful in some respects. Ooh, a bow. Give me that. Come to think of it, I don't really know what that's useful for, but... I'm sure all will become apparent in time. Well, it would be interesting to buy outfits. I would be some... I feel like that would somewhat clash with the kind of whole theme of the game, though, because the whole... what goes on... and I guess, spoiler alert, because we haven't gotten to this point yet, but... part of what goes on in the game is... You, like, get to different areas and put on the different, like, outfits to take on various roles. So... It would... I guess we could still, like, customize, like, our own outfits. But... Like, the, like the default one. What did... Oh, okay. Nice. Thank you, sir. Yes, I did get the flowers to bloom. That's a sword fighter, Sparkle Peach. I think we can make use of it together. So what does that mean? Like, is this, like, the previous actor's, like, soul? That we are, like, using to take on their abilities or something? Or what? Kind of confusing to me. We are Peach the Musketeer. Because I mean, that's sort of what this looks like. Because the Musketeers have that sort of like gentleman, Frenchman sort of aesthetic going on with the sword. Alright, have at ye, Thorns. Though I will say, 
Now, far be it from me to criticize, like, ancient cultural, like, touchstones. But, I've always found it weird that, like, the Three Musketeers are often depicted as, like, swordsmen. When they're... I mean, I would think... I mean, who knows? Maybe this is one of those situations where the name is just super unintuitive. But, shouldn't a musketeer be a musketeer? As in, like, someone who uses a musket? The, the, like, the old style of gun? I don't know. If we have any history buffs in the chat, I would love to hear your explanations. Hold on. Can I? I can't. Okay. Even if I could, probably jumping down into a blind pit. Not the best idea. Ah, yes. Look at that. Dodge move. It's like I'm playing Dark Souls over here. Come on, have at ye. Oh, Ooh, you almost had me there, but not quite. Close, but no cigar. I guess, I guess, on the topic of musketeers, it could be the case that they have muskets, but then also have a sword as a sidearm. Because especially if you look at, like, muskets, had a really slow rate of fire, so it wouldn't be a great... Or y you would need a backup weapon. Because you, you get like, your one shot off, and then like it takes like a minute to reload, and uh, if you're fighting multiple people, or you miss, y you're going to need something else to hold you over, so I can see that too. Being the case. If you come across an interesting looking area, press ZL or ZR to strike a pose. I am fabulous. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, Matas? How do you pronounce that? Matas J? 98? All right, onwards. The castle nears. The king, what can we do? Swordfighter, please help. We must save our king. The king is in trouble. We have to hurry. Interesting that... Uh, so, this is a theater. And it seems like all of the stars of the show have disappeared. That's as far as you go. Take her down. But all of the extras are still around. Well, not even just the extras. I doubt that... Oh, I'm taking damage. How embarrassing. Okay, kind of walked into that one. But, like, it seems like the, the whole theater steps here, except for... Actually, wait a minute. This guy... Maybe this guy may or may not have even been part of the production in the first place. I'm not really sure. All right, come on. How about you? All oh, right, I've got to jump. Okay. Ha! Take that! You fool! You challenge Peach? Why would you think you'd succeed? Other than the fact that, like, let's be honest, in the Mario canon as a whole, whoever takes on Peach succeeds like 95% of the time. <laughs> well, in the moments, at least. Like, prior to any Mario involvement. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's how we get him. Okay. Ooh. Right, I've got to remember, we don't have any particularly compelling, like, down, like, crash down from the air move as the Peach Musketeer, or Peach Sword Fighter. <laughs> we do not have a musket, unfortunately. This is the wrong Mario game for guns. Uh, at least so far. Who knows? We could have, like, Peach in, on the f in the trenches of World War One by the end of this. I don't know. I doubt it, but it's plausible. Alright. Like, this really isn't a great strategy, guys. Huh? 
there's the king! Alright, hello, king. This is our castle now. Not for long. This is my show. You won't get past me. We'll see about that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, get dodged. Take that, you've been dismembered. And you get jumped on. See, this is what happens when you mess with Peach. On a good day. Okay, all right. Where are you spreading out from? Oh, I'm right here. That was a big mistake. You didn't even get to swipe at me. Right, never mind. You did get to swipe at me, but it was fruitless. A fruitless effort on your part, which is kind of ironic because you're a plant. Although, I mean, for all I know, you may or may not be a fruiting type of plant. Can be hard to say, for sure. Well, depending on the time of year. If it's like fruiting season, it's pretty obvious. Which most normal people would refer to as the harvest season. Thank you very much. Alright. Perfect score, I think. More or less. In Sword 1. Oh, I got the Sword Fighter Dress ribbon. I guess, I guess we may look at that once we get a chance. Customization options, I think, is what that is. To be continued. 